Little State, very impressive last 10 minutes of this game. They were actually down in this game. In it deep into the second. 44-43 at one point in the second half. And it's and been very balanced, now. you know, and going to the hole. Nope. But uh, very balanced offense, and they played exceptional defense. Rosen. Rosen came in and played fantastic. Rosen played well. Rosen played well. And the thing is, is... Offensive. Oh, oh, I thought they were going to call that on us. Nobody draws freaking charges better than Junior Ballard, right? Yep, he did it again. He's unbelievable, man. He's something else. <laughs> look, he's, but again, look at him hiding down there in the look corner. Look at that. I mean, Weaver's got three centers that they can go to. Tom, but Rusin didn't play last night. Tom but went in and played well, but Rusin's been the man... Tonight. Yeah, oh, he's played fast. Two, and two's played well. Rosen was unbelievable tonight when he was in. He got a, a shaky start in the first half, but in the second half, two was really, really solid. He played well. KJ Cunningham had a great last 10 he minutes did. of this game. Because you could see Dylan Jones. I mean, that after that game Thursday, you knew it was going to be a little bit of a letdown, but he's come on in the second half. Look at him. He's amazing. <laughs> Good move. He got away with the travel there, but still. I don't know, man. It's just because he keeps the ball in the one hand, which I love that play. Cunningham does it too. So does uh, Porter. Well, don't switch the ball. Just leave it out there in front all the way to the hole, and Weaver's excellent at it. So the thing that makes this team so dangerous this year is they're, checking in. they're deep. Yep. And they have a coach that is willing to I use substitutions. Yep. Which Randy Ray wouldn't. No. Randy Ray sucked. The more I well, think Randy, about it. Randy Ray never substituted, which means he became so predictable. These guys aren't predictable because they're like rotating everybody in and out. You don't know what. You don't know what he's going to do. No. It's refreshing. It's, it's actually yeah. a great brand of basketball. It's exciting. They play tough defense. They're not all uptight and hate life like they were under Randy Ray. And I, I've been thinking about this. The Randy Ray told me to my face after they lost it later. I can't even got into it. He had quite an argument. Oh, we just don't get players back when you work for the team flag, brother. I'm like, are you out of your fucking mind? What do you mean? Like Jamie Willard, I told him? I've been thinking about it. What kind of players Randy Ray had on the floor? Joe Ballin, Jeremy Seaton, Freakins, Scotty Bamford, Jerry Carter, Kyle Dresden, Zach Braxton. And he could not win! These aren't mega superstar players that Duff Scott. Oh, he's in. Oh, he is in. Luden. Luden's in. So I'm buddies with him, JJ. I'm glad to see him on the floor. He's a hell of a talent. He's in too. Yeah. God. You can see there's some rust. Oh, look who's coming in. Look who's coming in. <laughs> hey, Cody Lake. <laughs> Where's our other Lock guy? Time. Where's Abdullah? Abdullah could be red uh -huh. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times I see Abdullah keep his So Abdul on. claims Yeah, he's got he's got his sweats on right now. I think Abdul might be going to so, red shirt. So Abdul is number 55 and Abdul claims to me that he's 56. I'm like you're three inches shorter than I am. And I'm five six cuz I've shrunk three inches. <laughs> and, uh, I love that kid. <laughs> So, Lake, he's a great kid. He's a local. Thomas checking in. So those are the two. Uh, those are the two, you know, non-scholarship players. Yeah. Lake and Abdullah. And Abdul. But I think Abdullah might be. He might be getting a red shirt to see if he can, you know, get a scholarship at another uh, school. Yeah, because he hasn't. Playing, but this is the first playing time all year that we've seen JJ. JJ Luden and uh, Cody Lake. Yeah. Cody Lake's a walk on. Luden scholarship. Luden's Cody a, Lake is, Luden uh, is a big time Las Vegas recruit. Big time recruit. I watched his game, Bill. This dude can fly. He's a player. He's going to get his day. All right. I'd like to see him get a shot off. But he's above the rim guy. And he'll be, a, I mean, if he sticks it out at Weber State, 
Here you go back to running back. Uh, you had him. Blake. Now uh, get the ball to JJ. <laughs> Pretty ugly basketball. Well, Dinwiddie hasn't played for weeks. He's rusty as they get. He's been hurt. Dinwiddie's had the ankle. He hasn't played one second for... So there's J.J. They're just going to kill the clock. Yeah, but, they'll kill the clock now. But I've watched plenty of film on J.J. when they recruited him. He's big time. He'll get his day. Well, he's he just, offered by Utah. Yeah. I don't know if he, yeah. they offered him a scholarship or preferred walk on. He was. But he, he was, was offered. He was a big time recruit. And so he'll get his day. He'll get his day. So impressive Weber State by 16. What a second half.